My name is Jess. I'm 71 years old. I live in Plano, Texas. And I feel like I'm a hunchback with this giant ball that I have on the back of my neck. My bump looks like a hideous softball sticking out of the side of my neck. The lump feels squishy. Unless I start pressing on it, then it becomes firmer. I try to hide it with my hair. But the bump is so big, it'll still show through. It's disgusting and looks ugly. My condition was first noticed by me in, in 2000. Uh, it was in the shape of a flat piece of gauze. I'd been in medical school before, the real medical school. Uh, I was there three and a half years, so I knew almost for sure that it was a lipoma. I did have it confirmed by a, a general practitioner. But over the years, the ball has gotten bigger and bigger. And so four years ago, I wanted to have it removed. But life had other plans. I was married to Anna for almost 40 years. And uh, she was the love of my life. Four years ago, my wife was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Dropped everything, trying to help save her life. Wasn't able to do that. Science wasn't there. Lost her five months ago. When you lose your wife, it's as if you had died. It completely turns your world upside down. Hi, Dad. Hmm? Hmm. What are you doing? Uh, getting the shirts, man. So I have three sons that live with me, Jesus, Joey, and Chris. And they're the ones that keep me company, thank God. Is there anything else I can help with besides the dishes right now? The, the dishwasher's clean. Get the uh, clean stuff out of there and put, it, put that away. OK. It's, ama it's amazing how much mom would do. And here we are, three people trying to do all the things <laughs> she's done. And, and I think I also miss her presence. Yeah, yeah, we all miss her presence a lot. You have to start thinking about yourself. This ball, the size of a grapefruit, you know, there is that potential that it can change from what it is right now to something that's medically dangerous to you, to your, to your being. Yeah, it's a small but definite risk. Get over here. You're gonna be okay.